events of American history. At the instruction of the Continental Congress, a committee of five was formed. This committee asked Thomas Jefferson to make a draft to be presented to the Congress as a whole. That's pretty good! Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence because he wanted to be free from Britain. The colonists were upset about a number of things that King George was doing to them. In the Declaration of Independence, Thomas Jefferson listed 27 grievances. The grievances are the things that the colonists didn't like. Some of the colonists were not too bright, so Thomas Jefferson had to explain it to them in, in different words to help them understand. He has refused his assent to laws, the most wholesome and necessary for public goods. What? He won't pass the laws that we want. Hey, King George III, can we have a law about regulating commerce between the colonies? No, 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 no. Can we can have, have equal pay for equal work? Never! Can I have an established law? None I live. He has kept among us in times of peace large standing armies and in english please he put soldiers in our houses what a nice house we have i'm a red coat why are you here i'm here to stay in your house at least he won't eat our food Oh, and I'll eat your food, too. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, King George III, will you stop putting soldiers in our houses? No! Really? No? So your soldiers are just going to live in our houses and eat our food? Really? <coughs> For cutting off our trade with all parts of the world. What, what is that? that? He won't let us sell stuff to other people. King George, can I sell these potatoes to the Canadians? No. What? Why not? Hey, King George the Third, can I sell these candlesticks to the French? Uh uh, never. <sighs> hey, King George, can I sell this bread to the French? No! What? No, really? Can I sell my fine metal work to the Russians? No! What? Wait, what? No? Why? Hey, King George, can I sell these onions to the Canadians? No, 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 no! Why not? For opposing taxes on us without our consent. What are you talking about? Oh, taxation without representation. No taxation without representation. No taxation without representation. No taxation without representation. No, 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 no. Well, I guess it's going to be an iced tea party. No doubt. Uh-uh, never. He has plundered our seas. Um, ravaged our coasts. Ravaged our coasts. Burnt our, burnt our towns and destroyed the lives of our people. What are you talking about? <clears throat> this dude's a total scumbag. Uh Jefferson began drafting the Declaration of Independence 
and June 11th, 1776. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. No, 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 no. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, der deriving their just powers from the consent of governed. Never! Now this is a document. It'll earn me a spot on the $2 bill. No! Gentlemen, I present to you this Declaration of Independence to be signed on July 4th, 1776. The declaration was signed by 56 colonial leaders from all 13 colonies. The signatures included, included famous men like Samuel Chase, Benjamin Harrison, Benjamin Franklin, Samuel Adams, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson himself, and John Hancock, who signed his name really, really large, so King George could read it without his reading glasses. Benjamin Franklin, you on board? Josiah Bartlett from New Hampshire, what say you? John Hancock, I can't read your handwriting. I think the Declaration of Independence is a really important document to America because it's important to, to have people be free and have their own government and make their own laws. And the Founding Fathers were really brave for standing up to King George and the armies for our freedom. There's no way Thomas Jefferson is kissing a baby.